Hi everybody, this is Lars Vemir for Wikipedia, and welcome to volume 13 of our video series Useful Wikipedia Tools. Today's video is about the AutoWrite Note version 1.0. This is the link where you can find it on Wikipedia. I'm the main author of the AutoWrite Note, which is the first tool that I've ever uploaded on Wikipedia. But I have to mention and thank the people who actually enabled me to put this tool together with their awesome Python code. So thanks to Walter Gilsing, Michael Leuthaler, Florian Linner, and Frank Rüter for all of their help and Python knowledge. The AutoWrite node is a customized write node that you can adapt to your project folder structure. It's made for compositors who are working in a folder structure that stays the same for every project. This tool is not for compositors who are working in a big VFX studio that already has a Nuke pipeline in place. The main idea behind the AutoWrite node is that you set it up once, and then you don't have to worry about creating any folder structures for your renders anymore until you want to change your project folder structure again. So let me show you how to use it. The first thing you have to do to set up the AutoWrite node correctly is to open or create a Nuke script that is part of your main project folder structure. That could be an existing shot in one of your projects or a new blank shot in your project folder template with nothing in it but the AutoWrite node. This is important because when you set it up, it will only work within your project folder structure. To give you an example, I have saved this script in this location. Once I have created and opened up a new script that is part of my project folder structure, like the one I am in now, I can paste or drag the AutoWrite node into my script and start to set it up. First, I have to go to the AutoWrite node tab. And here, I have to select and set my shot render and pre-render folders. That will define where my shot and pre-renders will be stored relative to my nuke scripts. And I'm saying scripts instead of script because it will not matter if you're in a different shot or project, which I will show you in a moment. So after selecting your shot render and pre-render folders, you just have to click on set shot render folder and set pre-render folder which will give us a quick message that we just set the render folder successfully. And that's it for the main setup of the AutoWrite node. So now I can just hide the section because we will not need it anymore. As the title of this field suggests, you can set the name of your pre-renders in here. Let's just type in pre-render for example. And these two buttons let you switch between the shot render and pre-render mode. The button that is grayed out shows you which render mode is active. In this case, it's set to shot render, which you can also see in the AutoWrite notes label. So now that we have set everything up, let's do a quick test render. For this test, I will create a checkerboard and render 10 frames, which is the exact frame range of the shot. After the render is finished, I can go back to my AutoWrite note tab and click on read from right but make sure that your write node is selected when you click on it. Now just keep in mind that the read from write button will always take the frame range from your project settings and paste these values into the frame range of your new read node. So if you have rendered a different frame range than the one in your project settings, it will give you an error on the frames that are not rendered. In these cases, you can adjust the frame range of your read nodes or import your renders the old fashioned way. Finally, I just want to show you what happens if I copy and paste the AutoWrite node into another shot of another project that has the same project folder structure. So if I open up shot 30 of my project 2, let's just switch to the pre-render mode and render another 10 frames of a checkerboard. it will automatically render into the correct pre-render folder of my shot 30 in my project 2. Even if I switch this back to shot render and render it, the shot render will also go into the respective render folder of project 2. Here's a quick look at how the AutoWrite node saves your renders. For your shot renders, the first folder has the name of your shot, and the second folder, as well as your sequence files, are saved with the name and version of your shot. For your pre-renders, 
the folder and sequence files that get generated have the custom pre-render name. So just set up the AutoWrite node once, like I showed you, save it as a toolset, call it with the W hotbox or a shortcut, and you're ready to render anytime. I really hope you can use this tool in your day-to-day -day workflow with Foundry's Nuke. All right, that's it for this episode. If you have any tool suggestions, just send an email to admin at nukipedia.com. Again, my name is Lars Vemier. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, everybody.